How to make an online order form using WordPress, quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with creating your own online order form using WordPress. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into it, you might be wondering what is a order form. So if you have a website and you have a shop where you have a bunch of different products, it can be a little difficult for people to be able to purchase products. So order forms allow people to purchase products easily with filters and categorizations. And there are a bunch of different tools that you can use to create your own order forms, but we're going to be using a simple plugin. However, if you go into WooCommerce, over here and you open up your product section so if we go into our product in WooCommerce the first thing I recommend before you get into creating you know a order form is to go on ahead and apply categories to all of your products uncategorized products not going to be shown in product forms so it's very essential that you add tags or add categories into your products you can do that simply by going into your products go into categories over here and name a category so let's say we have rings and that is it and we're just going to add this as a category now once you have added a bunch of different categories you can add your products to those categories so you can go back into all products over here you can click on uncategorize and categorize the product into a actual category for that we're going to click on edit on the product and you can scroll down over here to see the category so we're going to enter this category over here and then you can also add product tags you can add new arrivals you can add on sale new arrivals hot sellers top sellers so on and so forth in this way you can also add tags and if you add all of your product categories and product tags usually you don't really need to you know create a online order form these tags and these categorizations serve as a online order form for you and for the people that are looking to purchase from you however if you still want to customize it further and you want to go on ahead and create a order form simply click on plugins over here and click on add new now once you do that you're simply just going to search for quick slash bulk order form for WooCommerce. Now, this enables you to create a order form that is going to be customizable. You also have other order forms creators. You have a formidable forms, which allows you to build custom forms. And there are a bunch of different plugins that allow you to build a custom form. And you can use that customization feature to customize it to orders. But I like to use the quick or bulk order. And I like to just click on install over here. Once you have installed it, just head on over to installed plugins. Once you're in installed plugins, you're going to click on activate over here. And we're just going to wait, wait for a couple of seconds. And now you can see you have bulk order form settings. Now from here, you can begin customizations of these settings. You have a variation template or a standard template. I want to go with a standard template. Then you can choose the number of rows. Let's say I want to only display five rows on my bulk order form. And then we can add the maximum items to display in a search. So if you're a, a very large seller and you have maybe you know thousands of items in your store, then you want to limit the maximum items. If you have a couple of hundred items, that's totally fine. You really don't need to add, you know, a specific number. But if you have thousands of items, make sure to filter out a reasonable amount of products to display in a single search. Simply because if a customer searches for a type of uh, search term that applies to all of your products, then your website might be overloaded. So for that, make sure you add a uh, maximum number of items to display. So let's say for me, I want to add 80. You can exclude the out of stock items. I like to exclude those. And then you can choose to show the add to cart button on each feature. You have add row button. You have show product image, product price. So I want to display the product price as well. And you can choose to redirect to cart or check out automatically after successfully adding products to cart. I don't like to take this. The reason for that being I like to let my customers view on their product cart and add more products as they go. Now, after that, I simply like to click on save changes over here. 
and after that you can click on products now you can add multiple different product categories so on and so forth this is only available on the bulk order from pro version however it doesn't cost a lot and if bulk orders are something or larger orders are something that come a lot to you then you can definitely choose this kind of bulk order form uh, extension for premium features as well once you have saved all your basic features you can head on over to your store over here and if we go on to our store, you can see we have our basic select options. This is because I only have one product in my store. I really can't, you know, bulk order it. But once you have the bulk order settings available, you're simply going to add a page. You can add a separate page, which allows you to sell in bulk. So that is going to be your basic function on how you're going to be, uh, you know, selling uh, products with a order form instead of directly adding to cart. You can click on the pages that you have over here. So once you're in pages, you can click on add new. And when you're adding your new page, you can click on edit with Elementor if you want to edit with Elementor. And you can enter a widget over here. And you can choose to enter any of those basic widgets that you want to uh, display on the specific page and then integrate your order form as well. Now, there are a couple of other customizations that you can make as well. If you go into your bulk order form settings, you can see you have all of your basic info you have your maximum items you have your rows so on and so forth and then you have your height and width so you can choose to customize that if you want as well and you can customize that to change the appearance if you click on variation template then you can you know change the appearance of how the order form will appear but that is it you get all the basic and similar features so that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video